Hey you guys, so I'm back with a highly requested video. This is going to be my YouTube tips for those of you who are wanting to start a channel. So if you've been with me from the beginning when I first started this YouTube channel, then you know I started last year, um, it was July I believe, and I pretty much started it because all of you pretty much were telling me, you know, make a YouTube channel, can you make a tutorial for this hairstyle, for that hairstyle? And even before then, I had always watched YouTube and specifically like natural hair tutorials and just, you know, lots of natural hair vloggers. And, you know, me being natural, I was like, okay, this is something maybe I could do it one day and become a big YouTuber, but you know, I'm just really shy and then also I just didn't know how to start because, you know, you would see people with these nice cameras and I was like, okay, I don't have a camera, I can't YouTube. But I was wrong. So yeah, I'm just going to give you guys 7 tips to go ahead and start your YouTube channel. So my first tip is if you are wanting to start a YouTube channel, start it. Make a YouTube account, make a Google account, whatever and you know make your youtube channel um you know it's never gonna happen if it's stuck in your mind it's just going to be an idea a dream um so yeah you want to go ahead and make a youtube channel i promise you once you do that first step then everything else will come along after my second tip is youtube or google everything you need to know about having a youtube starting one um that's exactly what I did, you guys. I did not know a thing about YouTube. I'm still, to this day, learning new things, um, you know, on YouTube and my videos and stuff. So I YouTubed how to make a, um, you know, the banner that every YouTuber has on their YouTube page. I YouTubed how to do that. I YouTubed how to record. I YouTubed how to film. I YouTubed ways I could record other than with a camera. Um... I YouTubed, what else did I YouTube? I YouTubed how to edit on my editing software. I pretty much just YouTubed everything because I was completely clueless. And that's okay if you're, you know, clueless just like I was. Um, it's brand new, so of course you're not going to know everything. But yeah, Google and YouTube are your best friends. Everything is right there. Tip number three is if you don't have a camera, you know, like a video recorder, then use your phone to record. You don't need to have an expensive camera to record YouTube videos. As many of you know, I use my iPhone. Um, I was using my iPhone 5, my iPhone 5S, and now I'm using my um, 6S because I upgraded. And yeah, I use my phone. I don't have a fancy setup. You guys see I'm in my bathroom. I have um, in front of me is, I don't know how to explain it. It's like the sliding mirror, you, could, you know, the medicine cabinet. So I just have my phone literally sitting in front of my, um, sitting in front of my herbal essences conditioner so that it's, you know, facing me. And yeah. That's what I use, you guys. Um, also, you don't need to have, like, fancy editing or anything like that. For editing, I use the iMovie app. That It should, I think it does come on iPhones now, if I'm not mistaken. But if not, it might just cost a few bucks. And it's not, like, a monthly or anything type of fee. It's a one-time fee. So I think, like, $3.99, $4.99. I can't really remember. But, yeah. And... That editing app is so easy to use. Like I said, I YouTubed how to use it. And yeah, that's how I make my videos. As far as a setup, it doesn't have to be fancy like I said. Um, but you do just want to make sure you have good lighting and good sound. So you want to enunciate. You want to make sure everything's quiet behind you. And then um, for lighting, I just use my bathroom lighting. and it's, it's pretty good. Some extra tips I want to throw out there for recording on your phone is make sure it's the long way. Um, I feel so silly. I, vertical? I'm pretty sure it's vertical. You know, this way. 
so um you can have a full picture on your YouTube videos because if you do it just the regular like you're holding your phone type of way horizontally then when you upload your videos it's going to be that box and then have the black on the sides and you don't want that also you can use either front camera or back camera it doesn't matter back camera I will say is the best quality but I use my front camera and as long as you have good lighting it is fine um, and yeah I do everything for my phone record edit and I upload um, if you have the YouTube app you can upload your videos once you save them from iMovie and it literally takes like I would say five to ten minutes to upload my videos so yeah those are my tips for using your camera phone as an alternative if you don't have a regular video camera. My fourth tip is to have a main focus and what I mean by that is like for me my focus on my page is primarily natural hair. So you can do what hair, um, beauty, makeup, fashion, and you just kind of or comedy there's a lot of different things it's not just you know makeup and hair but you just want to kind of stick to a theme on your page so that's what you're known for it may be kind of hard to attract people to your page if you're kind of all over the place especially if you're just starting out once you build an audience it's perfectly fine to start venturing out but since you're just starting you want to build your audience and your subscribers you want to just stick to kind of a main focus at first my fifth tip is to just be yourself don't try to be like everyone else I know a lot of people have the um, they just have the sense that you have to be so outgoing, crazy, silly, just all types of craziness, but you don't. Like for me, I feel like I'm really laid back. My voice is so soft-spoken. Sometimes I feel like I'm boring, but that's just how I am. And, you know, people can tell if you're being fake. You don't want to be fake. Just be yourself. That's how you attract people. Um, I, a lot of people, a lot of you guys love my personality um so yeah just be yourself to go along with that tip is don't compare yourself to other people um especially when you're just starting out of course you're going to be seeing people with more subscribers more views um better content um but you don't want to compare because it will just make you feel really down make you feel down about yourself depressed and kind of make you feel like okay maybe I shouldn't be doing YouTube you don't want to compare yourself everyone has their own journey and I even had to learn that and you guys are probably like thinking I'm crazy for that but when I first started and you know I was looking at all the other youtubers they had like 5,000 subscribers and all this and I only had a couple hundred I was like okay what am I doing wrong I don't know if I want to keep doing this they're better than me nobody likes me but my page has started to really grow and blossom and now looking back I feel really silly for feeling that way but yeah just don't compare yourself you're good enough and um, yeah people will gravitate to you my sixth tip and this is really important it's promote yourself you have to be your number one promoter and supporter um, if you guys follow me on Instagram you know I'm always posting pictures videos telling you guys to go to my youtube channel saying i posted a new video i'm going to be posting a new video do you have video suggestions i'm just always promoting myself sometimes i feel like i'm annoying you guys but that's how i i get myself out there um and that's how you have to get yourself out there you want to be on instagram on facebook word of mouth telling people you have a youtube channel so that you can get views because if nobody really knows you're out there besides maybe seeing your video on um like a video suggestion or whatever they're not going to know you exist so you want to be telling people to watch your stuff what i really recommend before um really starting YouTube is to have a small audience first kind of like build an audience on Instagram or on Facebook just some way try to build an audience before you start I promise that will make your journey way easier 
been starting from scratch. That's how I started. I didn't make this YouTube until I had a lot of subscribers on Instagram. I think I had 5,000, and that's when I started. And, you know, my Instagram followers came over to my um, YouTube, so I had an audience already. And that really helped me. So, yeah, I'm going to get more into, like, how to get subscribers, how to get more followers on Instagram, and just build your audience. I'm going to make a separate video for that, so just stay tuned. My last tip is don't do it for money, fame, or free products. And I feel like a lot of people go into it for the wrong reasons. You know, getting free products, getting paid, and potentially becoming popular those are pluses to making a youtube it shouldn't be the main reason why you have a youtube it takes a lot of hard work um time dedication to start actually making money and even when you do start making money you're not gonna see big money until you have way more views way more subscribers so it takes a lot of time to even get to that point popularity um you know i guess uh i'm i don't know i'm kind of on the fence with this because you do want to be known like i can't even lie i want to be popular i want to be a big youtuber but that shouldn't be your main focus my main focus is helping you guys with your natural hair doing what i love i love making tutorials i love doing my hair and um sharing everything with you guys so yeah, that's kind of my main focus for my YouTube as of now. But the one thing I want to say is free products. Don't do it for free products. Just don't. I know a lot of people get on YouTube so they can get sent free hair stuff, free clothes, free whatever. And you shouldn't do that. And like I said, to even get free stuff, you're going to have to have an audience anyways. These companies aren't sending you free stuff because they think you're great. Like, I'm not even going to lie. A lot of companies just want free promotion. And I've had to even learn that. So that's why now I'm really picky about what companies I let send me stuff to promote on my Instagram. And as far as my YouTube, I do not let anyone on my YouTube, like, YouTube, this is so important to me, and I'm not going to just put any product on here just because you sent it to me for free. So overall, like I said, just don't do it for free stuff. Do it because you love it. And you might start a YouTube for the wrong reasons and find out that you hate it. And that's going to just be a bummer because it's wasted time. And yeah, so just do it because you love it. So those are my seven tips to starting a YouTube. Um, like I said, I'm going to make a separate video for how to build your audience and, you know, get more subscribers, get more followers on Instagram, promote yourself, all that type of stuff. So just stay tuned for that. But if you enjoyed my seven tips, then go ahead and like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video.